Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rokakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. And the title of this lesson is going to be along the lines of there's no cloak for you Latinos as well. There's no excuse for you not to know this truth. You have various camps of brothers uh, who are so-called Latino, all right? But really, you so-called Hispanics, all right? If you if you be an Indian descent, not not if you if you're not an Edomite, all right? <laughs> got to be an Israelite. You got to be descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because there's a lot of Spanish Edomites over in Central and South America and North America, all right? Descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You so-called Latinos. <clears throat> are in fact Hebrew Israelites. You have the tribe of Simeon, which is your so-called Dominicans. The tribe of Zebulon, which is the indigenous people of Guatemala to uh, Panamania. You have Ephraim, which is your so-called Puerto Ricans. You have Manasseh, which is your so-called Cubans. You got Gad, which is the North American Indians. You have Reuben, which is the Seminole Indians. Naphtali, which is the indigenous people from uh, Argentina, Argentina to Chile. You have Asher, which is the indigenous people of Colombia to Uruguay. And you have Issachar, which is the so-called Mexican. And there's really no excuse for you not to learn that you're a Hebrew Israelite when you have even men in Central and South America who speak your language in this captivity, which is Spanish. Your true original language was Hebrew, not Spanish. So without further ado, let me get this precept. This is John 8 and 32. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Knowing the truth about the Bible. I believe the word in Spanish is uh, las escrituras. If I'm not mistaken, the scriptures. Get into the scriptures through the understanding of Yahweh, which is the name of God and his son, Yahweh Shai, which is his son. There's no trinity at all. According to the Bible, when you know the truth, the truth shall make you free. There's no trinity Okay, you know the true depiction of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And in this lesson, you know, my Spanish is not always the best, but I I, under, I can hear it and understand it. This brother in Bolivia, uh, I think it's like El Alto. El Alto is like uh, a city that's next to uh, La Paz, Bolivia. La Paz, Bolivia is the capital of Bolivia. And Bolivia is a a, a landlocked country in South America. And uh, in, in uh, Bolivia, you have the Andes, mountains, all right, there's large formation of mountains on the west coast of uh, South uh, America. You have uh, Lake Titicaca, which is the second largest lake in the world. All right, this brother's all the way down in South America telling you in this video, I just watched the first few minutes of it, that the one who you call Jesus Christ, real name Yahweh Shai, he looked like a so-called black man. So there's no excuses, man. If you don't understand English, you know, there, there there's men... And this brother only got 117 subscribers. That's that's a damn shame, man. This man should have thousands of subscribers for you so-called Latinos, man. So you gotta you gotta get into this truth of the Bible, not Christianity, not Roman Catholicism, because you got put to death for not believing in um, a Jesus Cristo, which is a, a a fake God. When you get into the real description of the Bible, the Lord, all right, God's son. Yahweh Shai looked like a so-called black man. But that, that leads me to this next scripture. This is uh, Hosea chapter uh, 4. Because a lot of y'all, man, you think you're Caucasian, all right? You look down on the so-called black man. When actually the so-called black man, the tribe of Judah, is the head tribe of all Israel. If you read that in the Bible and you're familiar with the Bible, King David and King Solomon came from a tribe of Judah. So you so-called Latinos, you have a whole lot of uh, humility to start picking up because you've been led astray. You are, you are part of the lost sheep at House of Israel as well. But I'm against the scripture, Hosea 4 and 17. Ephraim is joined unto idols. Let him alone. Now, Ephraim represents the southern kingdom. And even amongst Seminole Indians and North American Indians, there's a lot of um, idols, a lot of false gods that are being worshipped along with you so-called 
Latinos, Jesus Cristo, Guadalupe, Mary, Michael, Michael the Archangel. That's idol worship. The Roman Catholic Church is false worship. That's what our people are into. That's what the Northern tribe is into. They're into idol worship. When this is what the Bible says as far as idols, this is uh, Psalms 96 and verse 8. Psalms 90, excuse me, Psalms 98. Bear with me for a sec. Well, yeah, it's no excuse for you so-called so -called Latinos because you got this brother in Bolivia, man. You got brothers in Mexico. You have a brother that's in, uh, I believe, uh, Honduras, or as they pronounce it, Honduras. Uh, you have brothers that are in uh, Peru. All right, you have brothers... Um, there's another country as well. You have that brother Samaka Moth. He's in, he's in the island of Puerto Rico, man. So there's no excuse for you so-called Latinos not to get this word. So um, let me see. This. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... That scripture's passing me by. But the scripture says the gods of the nations are idols. Let me just type it up. Because our people are heavily into idol worship. All right, let's get it right quick. This is Psalms 96 and 5, excuse me. And this is an, uh, I'm going to read it from the um, King James Version. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh made the heavens. Yahweh made the heavens. He created his son Yahweh Shah to make the heavens. That's one of the parts of the truth. That'll make you free. Getting these mysteries that you're not getting in the Roman Catholic Church. All right. But this is what it says about our people as well. And you got a lot of Israelites that don't believe the so-called Latinos or Israelites, man. I mean, it's put as clear as day when you have the spirit of understanding. A lot of you Israelites, man, you just simply don't have it. We're not here. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're not here for black people. You know, a lot of this persecution is going on. We're not here for black people. We're here for we're here for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, like it mentions in Matthew. We're not here for black Hebrew Israelites. Does this man on the screen look like a black Hebrew Israelite? You guys are idiots, man. For you naysayers and you uh, you know, you official agencies that want to demonize us. You naysayers, you know, you theologians. Does this man on the screen look like a black Hebrew Israelite? This is uh, Hosea four and one. God's controversy with Israel. Israel represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And like I said, there's no excuse to not hear this word because this brother in El Alto, Bolivia, all right, is breaking down the word of Yahweh Bashem El Shah in Spanish and telling you to stop, get away from your false idols and the false pastors. Uh, Hosea 4 and 1, hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there's no truth. You believe in... Roman Catholicism and Christianity, and a lot of you Latinos as well, you're into Islam just like the so-called black man. It says, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By what? By swearing, swearing in these false gods, lying, and killing. Look what's, um, man, not really killing, murders, man. You know, scriptures say, thou shalt not murder. What are you so-called Mexicans doing at the border over all those drugs? You know, you different uh, cartels in Central and South America, like MS-13. You need to come out of that lifestyle and repent and come back to the God of the Bible, Yahweh Hashem El Shai. You keep putting these crosses on your body and wearing these crosses on your neck, and that's not saving you from anything. And I'm going to just tell you this, the white man, the so-called white man, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Ever since he came upon your land, he's wreaked nothing but havoc. But a lot of you think you're, you think you're white. And this white man is going to show you what it is. You have to come back to the God of the Bible to get that protection. It says, and stealing and committing adultery. You let, you let, uh, a lot of you Latinos is heavy into adultery, just like the so-called black man, spiritual and physical. They break out in blood, touch of blood. So let's go to verse 6. Hosea 4 and 6, my people destroy for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That's why the Lord continues to send earthquakes to Central and South America. That's why these lands are plagued with violence. 
a lot of you Latino women in these different countries like Guatemala and Honduras, your life was on the line every day. It's time for you Latino women to start repenting to Yahweh Bashim El Shah as well. Because we get on this black woman, all right? We get on this black woman, but we don't get on you Latino women as well. A lot of you women are just heavily into that idol worship, man. And the God of the Bible is not too kind with idol worship, as I mentioned in the previous verses. You got all types of violence, all types of fuckery going on in Central South America. Drug problems, gang problems. Same thing that the so-called black man is going on dealing with here in America. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. But this, this in this passage, it represents Israel. Because, you know, you had the split after King Solomon. You had Judah and you had Israel. It says, The children of Israel, you so-called Latinos, Seminole Indians, and Native Americans. And the children of Judah, you so-called blacks, West Indians, and Haitians, were oppressed together. Where were they oppressed? Here and uh, North America, also Central and South America. You got a lot of so-called black men from the tribe of Judah that live in Central and South America due to the diaspora, okay? It says we're oppressed together and all that took them captives, held them fast and refused to let them go. Who was that? Starting with Esau eating the so-called white man. This so-called white man has his foot down your neck just like he has the foot down the neck of the so-called black man. You know, you're still in captivity to this day as well. You still have to work these low-paying jobs. And you take pride in that when we're actually kings and priests. We weren't here to clean the white man's uh, uh, job facility. We weren't here to clean the white man's uh, houses. And, and you black and Hispanic women are known for that. Mammies, abuelas, doing the same thing. All right, the so-called uh, black man has uh, built this country up. And you so-called Latinos are holding it up to this day. So you, you, you oppress together here in America and the so-called black man is not your enemy. But this is the curse when you don't come back to the uh, God of the Bible. This is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, verse 54. Like I said, there's a lot of brothers that speak Spanish. A lot of brothers here in the United States. Um, the GMS Answer the Day is capped. The brother, uh, the, the, uh, the brother uh, Dawah died. All right. GMS Ancient of Days. It's in Spanish and Espanol, I believe. All right. And there's other camps in the United States as well. So there's no excuse. All right. Even here in the United States, you got brothers that speak the Spanish speaking camps. Chicago, you got GMS. Uh, I, think, I believe it's GMS Por Los Sectos. All right. Those brothers in Chicago, they speak Spanish, man. So there's no excuse for Latinos, even here in the United States, not to get this word. This is Deuteronomy 2854. So that the man is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. It says uh, your eyes shall be evil towards your brother. The so-called black and Hispanics are brothers. You have Mexicans that hate blacks, blacks that hate Mexicans, so-called Mexicans and so-called blacks, so-called blacks that hate Dominicans, so-called Dominicans that hate um, so-called Dominicans that hate Haitians. So-called Haitians that hate the so-called black man here in America. All right. So-called Colombians that hate Mexicans. So-called Venezuelans that don't like Mexicans. You know, your eyes shall be evil towards your brother. All this division that's going on. And the Lord is looking for those uh, to come up on this word and be unified. The only way how you're going to be unified is through this word and later on in the kingdom of heaven. But, you know, a, a great... And calamitous time known as Jacob's trouble is coming here to the shores of America in Jeremiah 30 and 7. So, um, I'm going to get this last scripture. I don't want to be too long-winded with this lesson. But you so-called Latinos, man, even you ones that speak Spanish, hey, man, you better get this word and put it into work. All right? Let me get this. Uh, let me get two scriptures. All right, Matthew, uh, Matthew 9, I believe, last verse. Matthew uh, 9 and um, 37 then, then say if he into, then say if he unto his disciples the harvest truly is plenteous but the labors are few you know for the brothers that know Espanol Spanish hey man looking for labors out there man to the spirit and power you how about Shemel Shah because a lot of Jake's 
All right, especially here in Atlanta, Georgia, man. You know, there's a lot of Jakes, man. It's not just Issacar. It's not just the so-called Mexican. You got the tribe of Asher. You got a lot of Brazilians here in Atlanta. You got a lot of Venezuelans and um, uh, people from Colombia. You got a lot of Zebulonites, a lot of people from El Salvador here in Atlanta. All right, so, hey, man, if you hear this word and you're one of these brothers that understand Espanol, man, hey, man, it's time to get to the plow, man, you know? Um, and I wanted to end it off on uh, one scripture, uh, John 15 and 22. Because at this point, everybody's heard about the Hebrew Israelites, even you so-called Latinos, man. All right. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. There's no excuse not to hear this word. When the scriptures prophesied that this word will be across the four corners of the earth through what? The internet, like, how am I able to see this brother from Bolivia who I've never seen before and shout out to them brothers down there in Bolivia to actually hear this word in Spanish? And I barely understand Spanish through the Internet. So the Bible prophesied these different things. So with that, hey, it's time for you so-called Latinos to start waking up to this uh, gospel, man. It's good news. Shalom.